Hi, I'm James and I'm the developer advocate at Sembird. Today, we're going to be looking at adding UI kit to your Next.js project. Next.js is a modern JavaScript framework for building highly performant React.js applications. In a traditional React app, all the rendering of HTML will be done on the client side. Next offers two additional ways to render your React app. One, on the server when a user requests your page. This is called server-side rendering. Two, when your app has been built for deployment. This is static-side generation. Shifting when HTML gets rendered from the client to the server means there's less JavaScript being sent over the network and there's less work for client devices to do. Sendbird UI Kit is a component library for creating rich, cross-platform chat experiences. UIKit can be composed together to quickly add many types of chat functionality to your product, whether that's users chatting with each other or as a direct messaging channel between businesses and customers. UIKit is a client-side specific library. So let's take a look at how we can put together a Next.js project that is both optimized for performance and making use the rich interactive chat components provided by Zembird UIKit. So here we are in a basic Next.js app. In reality, your Next.js app will have features, but for this basic tutorial, we're just going to have a simple app header. First, we need to install Sembird UI Kit for React. This module gives us a number of chat components. First, we have a fully functional chat component. Just import the Sembird app React component and render it. Or, for a more customized alternative, import the chat components that you need and render them however you choose. Alongside the pages directory, we have a components directory. Let's add our chat component here. For this tutorial, we don't need a highly customized chat experience, so let's add the all-in-one Sembird app chat component. First, import the app component from Sembird UI Kit. Next, set up an app ID. This can be found at your dashboard and then set a user ID. Users can be created via the dashboard. Next, let's set up a simple React component with a little bit of styling so that our chat component takes up the full width and height of the view, minus the top app header. And then finally, render the Sembird app component, passing in our app ID and our user ID. We're going to want to use this component on a Next.js page, so let's export it so it can be easily imported. Here's how our app looks currently. Not a lot has changed, so let's render the component to the page. Our app has an index page, so let's render the chat app there. In order to render client-specific components, like Sembird UI Kit, we need to make use of Next.js's dynamic function. This function allows us to selectively render parts of the page just on the client side. To use the function, we first import it from Next. We call the function at the top of the file with two parameters. One is a function definition that imports the previously created chat component. Second is a config object. We set SSR, server-side rendering, to be false and pass in a loading component to be displayed on the client. The dynamic function returns us a new dynamic React component. All that's left to do is render that component somewhere on the page. Let's add it under the header tag and inside of the main tag. We render the component like any other React component. We can pass in props in the usual way. And one thing you might want to do is pass in UIKit configuration. For example, a theme to match your company's brand. Here we have the final application running in the browser. My Next.js app now has a feature-rich and scalable chat feature. If we slow right down the recording of the page loading, we can see the exact order the components appear. First, Next.js renders the app as plain HTML generated by the server. This includes the app header and the loading component we defined earlier. Notice the three dots at the top. Then, the chat component does a pure client-side render and displays as expected. If you want to learn more about Sembird UI Kit, you can visit the documentation. Thanks for watching.